I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that breaks, and I bet I've had way more fun than you. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Gift Does Stuff. Uh, today we have this cheap decorative katana I got at a pawn shop several years ago. I've been bouncing around the shop for years. I didn't know what to do with it. Talk about taking the blade off and doing something with it, but. My grandson saw it, and he's like, ooh, can I have it, Grandpa? I said, no, tell you what, we'll make you one out of it. We'll use the blade as a template and make one. So, let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to make it out of scrap wood that I found laying around in my scrap bin, like this. Let's get started. Okay, I don't care about the terminology, so get over it. I'm going to make the blade out of this piece of wood. I already cut part of the arc of the blade out of it. And then I'll make the handle out of this piece of wood. It's about the right size. And I'm going to make a blade guard out of this piece of panel I cut for another project. It's not going to have a tang on it because the blade won't be long enough. But it's okay. I'll just drill a bore there and just slap it together. It's just a toy. Okay, since my bandsaw is still down, I need to replace the bearings in it. I'm going to use this coping saw to cut close to the line and clean it up with a sander and files. Unless I get really upset because this coping saw is too short, takes too forever, then I'll switch to something else. I do is clean it up and get down to the line with this bastard file. Okay, this piece of wood is much too thick in this direction, so I'm just going to draw a line down this top here. And then I will split this down the center. Might even be able to get two swords out of it, but I doubt it. Okay, I'm going to try and use my handy dandy Japanese back saw, Japanese style back saw, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. got thinner and fatter and thinner and fatter so I'll just clean that up with the file and then we'll start shaping the blade Clean it up with a plane a little bit, and we've got ourselves a nicely thinned out blade, shaped fine. Got a couple flaws in here and there, but who really cares? It's just something we're making out of scrap. So now I need to make the bevel on it on both sides. So I'm just going to draw a pencil line on it freehand from one end to the other, something like this. And repeat it on the other side. There we go. Now we'll start shaping it. Okay, and now we'll start shaping this bevel. Okay, so 
got the filing done, got the bevel on. I think it looks pretty good. Even pretty uniform. Do some light sanding. And then we'll start working on the handle. Okay, it's time to work on the handle. We got this piece, I think it's cherry. We'll put it in our miter box here and cut the length with a back saw. Okay, we got the piece for the handle cut off. We got a couple blemishes here and there, but that really doesn't matter. So, what we need to do is fit the blade to the handle. What I plan on doing is just sinking the handle in, or the blade in about yay far, and gluing it in place, and trying to maintain this angle throughout the handle so it has a little arc in it also. Or I might just keep it straight. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See how badly I screw up mounting it. And that's going to be pretty simple. Just taking a pencil and I will just eyeball the center like this. And then I'll make the overall length like this. That's about right. Should be about a quarter of an inch. And then we'll drill it out with a quarter inch drill bit. Okay, we've got three quarter inch holes drilled in here, slightly off center because they're not perfect as usual. Got a half inch chisel and a quarter inch chisel, and we're going to put this in the end of the little bench here and try to knock out the rest of this so that we can use it. So let's get started. Okay, we've got the handle chiseled out enough to get this blade in here, about five-eighths of an inch in. We'll get it in here, we'll give it a little upward arc to continue this bend in it, and then when, as we shape the handle, we'll continue this arc all along it. So now... I think I'm going to try and stain this blade because I want it nice and dark. So I will stain the blade, but I want to kind of mark the blade. I don't want to stain too far below this and keep the glue from adhering well. So I'll put a little tape on there. Okay, I've got the blade standing upright in the bench here. I'm going to take a paper towel, a little bit of this, I do believe it's red mahogany stain, and then just start damming it on here. Okay, we'll let it sit like that for a while and then wipe it down again. Okay, I've got the blade all shined up here. Spent a little bit extra time. I didn't I want to get back here a little sooner than this. See if I can rub off some of this thing, but I think I waited too long, but it still looks pretty good. Got a nice color to it. Might even try to shine it up on the buffing wheel I got sitting near me. I don't know, but it's got some pretty good looking grain in it. I like that. It's not bad. So, I'll clean up this mess and start working on the handle. 
Okay, I've got the template katana laying on top of the katana I'm making. I've got the blade inserted into the handle, and now I'm just going to trace around this radius of the handle so that it meets the radius of the blade. So now, might not be easy to see it, but there are now lines on here that form this radius and then now I'll just use a file file it all down to the line and then we'll start shaping the handle okay I've got my handle put in the vise got a couple pieces of wood here blocking it so I don't get marks in it and now I'm just going to try to take it down to the line along there so let's get started Okay, it's probably not easy to see on camera, but there's just a slight curve to this, and that's exactly what I was looking for. Now, I've got two different ways I want to finish this. One, I could go with how this blade is beveled on all sides, and then just kind of round over the end and keep the front square, or... I was thinking just rounding over this edges and then trying to do a fancy wrap with a ribbon and covering it up with some leather on either end and a fancy brass pin to tie it off. Let's see what I decide. Okay, I've decided to go with beveled on all four sides, so I've drawn up a quick line and I will. Shape it with a file from this line to this line, just taking off enough. Hopefully it'll look okay. If not, I've always got a backup plan. Okay, that's a lot of filing and such, but I've got the profile on it done. It looks a lot like... The sword I modeled it after. I'm proud of that. So I'm going to do a bunch of sanding and then we'll probably try to stain it and then attach it to the blade. Okay, I've got the handle here in the vise sticking out of a scrap piece of wood. We'll try to get this stain on here evenly and this time I don't think I'm going to leave it on quite as long I'm going to try to wipe some of it off it's not quite as dark as the blade The next day we got both pieces here, the handle and the blade, and they should be dry. It was kind of cold last night, but it should be fine. Now I'm going to load up these buffing wheels with compound, and we're going to try to buff out the handle and maybe load it on the blade. So I've got the handle clamped up in the vice bench. 
with a towel in there to keep it from getting scuffed up. I'm just going to put liberal amounts of glue in here. Okay. And now I won't make the mistake I made on the last sword, and I will put the blade in here at the right angle. So it follows the curvature of the blade or the handle and the blade all the same curvature and then put it back in here and clamp it down. Come back in three or four hours because it's kind of cold. I want to give it plenty of time to set up. Okay, it's been a few hours. We got the sword all finished up. It looks pretty good. The handle feels good. The sword, the arc falls the handle. Nice good swoop there. I'm not going to put that blade guard piece on here or hilt, whatever it's called. I just don't care. But it feels fun. And I got the, while it was blue was drying, I was taking some of the bend out of the blade by putting some spring force on it. So, looks pretty good. Got some pretty good detail in the blade itself. Handle looks okay. I don't know what I'll do with it. I was thinking about making the sheath for it too to match the other one, but that's just more work than I think I want to do. And I think I like it the way it is. So this wasn't a do-it-yourself or how-to, this is how I did it, and I didn't really measure anything, I didn't use a tape measure or anything, I just did it by eye. I did have the original katana to draw this blade out on the piece of wood, but you don't need that. You can just draw anything you want with a pencil, cut it out, turn it into blade, put a handle on it, you've got a katana, broadsword, short sword, any kind of sword. So don't be afraid to go out there and do things. Just start working on it. Thanks for watching.